Welcome to my channel. In this episode I'd like to introduce the SCSI 2SD 5.1 hard drive emulator. The device is sold without a case. I bought them on eBay portal for around $100 with including shipping costs and taxes. SCSI 2SD came to me from the USA. The equipment is compatible with Atari, Amiga and Macintosh computers with SCSI hard drive controller. The device can be adapted for installation in these units. I bought a compatible frame for mounting in 3.5 inch Atari Mega STE space. The device has been modernized, installed the pins needed to support the LED mounted on the Atari case. You also need a 5 volts power supply which you can connect identically to floppy disk drives. At the same time I have the opportunity to show my refurbished Atari Mega STE. The computer needed cleaning and renovation. The pictures which are displayed on the screen show are refurbished computer. I really like the dedicated version for the professional market. I collect computers in these versions. My Atari Mega STE is equipment which a uh, SCSI controller, but this is not a norm for this computer. When mounting a disk emulator, I can additionally connect an external Ultra Saturn. The computer detects a device with 1 MB of disk space. After connecting to Atari TT, we can see the full capacity of the SD card. We are currently observing the read and write speed of the hard disk. With the help of few programs, we are able to verify the correctness of the indications Depending on the processor clock speed, we see different reading in data transfer. The Atari Mega STE hard drive emulator managed to achieve a speed of less than 700 kb per second. In my opinion, this is an average result that allows you to work in most applications. Finally, I will launch a very good and atmospheric epic game with a very nice introduction. I will do a summary of SCSI 2SD. If you want to install them in Atari, you will achieve less transfer than when using the cheaper Ultra Saturn. For Ultra Saturn, you don't need a SCSI controller mounted on the Atari Mega STE motherboard. However, when using the Ultra Saturn installation, we block the possibility of connecting external hard drive. I'm happy to install SCSI to SD. I really had a supported SCSI controller on my computer and really wanted to use it. I also have Ultra Saturn, which I use externally. That's all I have prepared in the episode. Thank you very much for your attention. I leave you with the epic introduction. Admit for yourself that the intro looks very good on the 16 MHz Atari. Take care. Mm-hmm. <laughs>